So right now we established that it can mix and match between the DDR3 and DDR3L memory. But what I'm going to do is take out the O2 gig because it's only a PC1333 versus this new memory I got, which is PC1600. Okay, and that's now with a single stick of A gig, PC DDR3L. Okay, looks like so far it's booting up. Again, this is the older two, late 2011 MacBook Pro model. Okay, going back to system information about this Mac. All right, now it says 8 gig of PC 1600 DDR3 memory right here. And under memory, as you can see, one slot is taken for the 8 gig I purchased. The other one is empty. The next question is whether 8 gigs of faster memory is better than uh, 10 gigs of slower memory. If there is no performance hit or a little bit of performance hit, I think I would rather have two gigs of extra memory. is about to be finished took about two minutes and uh, 15 seconds uh, single core 2173 multi-core is 4578 now I ran the test in previously with the two uh, two gig the memory from Apple let me go find out what was the score then so according to my records, the last time I ran it with four gigs of the memory that Apple came with, uh, the score was 2277 for the single core and 4737 for the multi-core. So again, I'm just going to run the exact same benchmark, the Geekbench 3, um, this time with the 10 gigs of RAM in there, but of course the memory has slowed down to PC one Previously, the test took two minutes and fifteen seconds. Okay, two minutes and eighteen seconds. Let's take a look. What is the score? Okay, the new score is 2128 and the multi-score is 4494. So the conclusion is simple. Uh, using two match pairs, it is the fastest uh, when you have only one memory, even though it's faster, PC1600. It's a little bit slower than the matching pair. And then if you mix and match, it's the slowest. As you can note, the single core speed is 2128 mix and match versus 2173 when you're using matching pairs.